everyone, sorry it's been so long since I started the blog and I haven't put anything on it, but I started it when I was at uni and I never had any free time to do it. And then once I'd left uni and got a job, um, I was constantly just tired and just grateful to not have to do any work. So now I've kind of got over that and um, I've been looking forward to doing the blog again. So I thought I'd show you this book I got from Waterstones, which is um, called My Museum and it was 11 99 this book has inspired me to do the 30 paintings in 30 days challenge because there's loads of little places you can put things and I think it will look as a nice thing for the, the paintings to go in. Um, obviously it won't be full after 30 days but it'll give it a good good boost. Um, it's full of little ones so they, they shouldn't take that long so possibly I might even do more than one in, in a day because just doing one tiny one wouldn't be that big of a challenge. Um, so let me show you the book. Right, so when I first looked at it in Waterstones, I um, just thought it was a plain sketchbook and it just had a pretty cover and it was just had a gimmicky sort of name. So I opened the book um, in Waterstones and it has a really nice front cover. Um, this page explains um, more about the book, about why it's called the museum book. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit so if you want to read it you can just pause the video now. Um, and then inside... There's picture frames, there's um, sort of plinths that you can put statue paintings on, um, more picture frames, display cases, um, shelving units, there's um, sort of shelves. I like the pages with the lights on, which I haven't quite managed to find for you yet. There's the pages with the lights. Um, this will be the page that I've put in the first day on so obviously this is the first day of the 30 day challenge and moments ago I finished doing this scene um, which is a Copic scene and I'm going to be placing it there so it looks like it's hung beneath the lights I'm going to colour the lights in and it hopefully it'll look pretty then there's going to be more so obviously they're going to have to be varied in size but that was a nice little one um, I like this one, it's like a shelving unit I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put this one yet, but I thought it was um, cute. So obviously you don't have to fill it all with just scenes, you could put other things in. Um, but I like the idea of doing scenes. So, I'll just give you a quick preview. I like that display case. This is a really nice one, but the problem is when it's on a bit of the, um, the, the like, sort of middle of the book, that is going to be a little bit hard to do. So I'm going to have to learn as I go along. That's a nice page. It's got a light at the top and then a little display case. A shell view unit over here. And um, we have ones where there's just blank ones so you can put things wherever you want. Little baby shelves. Um, and a like sort of bench looking thing as though you was looking sat on the bench looking at the painting on the wall. Um, I like the ones where they've got the doors through to the other rooms as though you were going through the museum. So hopefully you uh, like the book and have liked this film. Now some other some other um, videos I've got in mind is one where I create a bag. I have these plain canvas bags and I'd really like to do a scene and airbrush the scene like in colour onto the bag. Um, so I'm hoping I can take some video tutorials and some pictures and maybe even record it um, and show you that. I also have um, some other scenes in mind to do, so I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you like all the future videos that I have in mind. Thank you for watching.